Hello gainers and gargantuans, Ralphie here with some fitter philosophy sharing my journey and experience with fitness, with life, holistically as one, with you to help you with your personal gains, to improve your personal life. And do you know why? Because when we all do it, it amplifies and life gets better for everybody. Because as you know, there's a big difference between living and existing. We choose not to exist. We make that choice. We elect to live. And so be it. But in, to be successful at this, in doing so, we do need a little helping hand and there's nothing like personal experience to help with that. Exploring the practical techniques which just help us to get that edge, that little bit extra, that marked noticeable improvement that we otherwise wouldn't have if we didn't have our little techniques. How about this? Here's one technique. This is a map. It's an ordnance survey map of Glench of Loch Shiel in Scotland, very beautiful part of the world during the summer. And as you can see, there's lots of sea lochs and there's not a lot of roads. It's very mountainous. There's all sorts of rivers, glens, small tracks. And if you're walking in this environment, if you're trying to navigate this environment and you've never been in it before, a map is absolutely invaluable, particularly when you have a compass to go with it and you can read that compass and use your compass. It keeps you heading in the right direction and stops you going off course and into difficult terrain. That's what a map's all about. It's a wonderful thing. A map, by the way, if you're ever looking to put pictures on your wall, just buy a map and frame it. Maps are never boring. They always make great pictures. Um, and maps are something which we can use constructively in our fitness objectives, that we can draw our own map. After all, we do look to others to be our role models. Now, if you happen to be wanting to gain strength in the gym, you might choose Arnold Schwarzenegger or Louis for, what, let me say, <laughs> I'm now trying to think of other um, bodybuilders. Anyway, right, it's gone blank, moving on. <clears throat> anyway, I've got one, Arnold Schwarzenegger, a very good self-publicist, -publicist, but never the best Mr. Olymp Mr. Olympia, never in a million years. But we look, if you're wanting to gain strength, you look to him to be a role model. If you're, if you're younger, you might look to some of the modern physique athletes uh, who are enhanced, but they manage it. They do it professionally. So they're still role models. You know, they may be using anabolics, but that's, that's part of the landscape. That's part of the map that they are on. And also, if you happen to be athletic and you're training for endurance, if you're in a sprint or a run, you may look to Olympic athletes from around the world and they're your role models. But the thing is, they're other people. They're not you, they're not me, they're not us. The best role models that we can have, the role models that we can realistically aspire to really be, the ones who will always be honest with us, the ones that are achievable role models, are the role models we make of ourselves for ourselves. And I know this sounds a little bit cliched perhaps, but it's true, it's perfectly true. We'd, we should be inspired by others, but don't choose other people to be our role models. We should develop ourselves as role models using our self-drawn map to help us. Now, in previous videos, I've introduced the targets. I've introduced the techniques of weight management with macros and uh, intermittent fasting. I've discussed all that. At this moment in time, I'm really going to give you tangible re reasons why you draw your own map. 
and literally you get pen, you get pen and you get paper and you just describe yourself, list yourself, height, shape, strong body parts, weak body parts, how you want to develop, how much stronger you want to be in a year's time. So you have a month's time, a year's time and 10 years time. That's how you section out your goals on your personal roadmap for your development. Now, the physical fitness, when you draw your map, think of the physical fitness aspect, but don't view it in isolation. Fitness is more than physical, it's holistic. But you can walk, you can swipe, cycle, you can swim. Why? And even weight gainers, muscle builders, should have cardio to exercise the heart regularly and exercise the body and get the additional depth of fitness beyond short-term aerobic heavy lifting workouts. So you can walk, cycle and swim. I recommend all these three because they are low impact on the joints. They are all very healthy. Gym, cross and cross training. Should have put a wee separator, excuse me. That's better. We go to the gym. We lift heavy, progressive overload, low reps, high weight. The heavier the weight we can lift, the stronger we get. The more we focus on lifting heavy weight for shorter sets, the more we are focusing on improving our strength and with it our muscle size and development. Also, if you're not about that, if you need the team behind you, if you need the group and the club influence and the, and the, the energy you get from groups of people, cross training could be what you need rather than being on your own or just with a buddy in the gym. It's finding out early on, on your roadmap, what works best for you and nobody else. It's not about what works for your role model. You can read up in them but the best role model for you is yourself because you know whatever works is working for you. Mental fitness. This is, tends to be with so many fitness channels, it's all about the physical and yet mental strength fundamentally, irrefutably, nobody can take issue with me on this. Mental strength is a indispensable component to physical strength. They are inseparable. What affects the body affects the mind and what influences the mind affects the body. When we are positive in the mind, we will have positive physical results. It may take a shorter time. It may take a longer time. Let me ask you gainers, what's the hurry? It's about the journey, not the destination. That's what maps are good at. They show you the journey. The destination is just the, the conclusion and we hope never to reach our destination because if we don't reach our destination, we keep on gaining. Puzzles, crosswords, number puzzles, Sudoku. Have you tried them? Give them a bash. They stimulate the old grey cells. Challenges. Physical challenges involve mental challenges. At the moment, I'm setting myself a physical challenge and a mental challenge. I'm organizing a hunks calendar. I'm going to be in it, so I'm gonna to have to be fit for it. But at the same time, I'm organizing it. So I've got to deal with the logistics, the practicalities, the obstacles, and also enjoy the success when it happens. So it's a combination of physical and mental challenge. That's one good illustrative example. And books. It's all very well reading, watching the videos online, but so much genuinely valuable information which is going to be useful to you is to be found in books. And it's never been easier than it is now to narrow down where to find these books and get other people's reviews of the value of the content in them. Whether they be about fitness or mental development or holistic lifestyle choices, you could be surprised at what you learn from a book that you didn't think of reading. It's just true. And life fitness. 
This gets rarely mentioned. People think the physical, okay, definitely. The mental, mm, right, okay, we'll think about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what happens. But life fitness. Life is not a dress rehearsal, gainers. It isn't. We all get one shot at, at it. And we don't know how much time we are getting for it either. Because every single minute of every single hour of every single day of every single month of every single year in our lives is a constant spin of the dice and a turn of the cards of fate. We never know what's around the corner for any of us. We must corpus deum, corpe deus, corpe deus, that's it, it's Latin, seize the day. Don't wait, switch off your telly. Don't buy newspapers. Don't be distracted by bullshit and illusion and matrix matrixy stuff which society is trying to impose on us to make us less than we should be, to keep us sleeping. Wake up and be awake. Live your life. Life fitness. Connect to the environment. Connect to the land. Go for walks. Accept challenges, connect to the land, the environment, hill walking, cycling down a country road, going on holiday locally, time to explore, ties in with what I've said about connecting to the land. Do not be spending too much time working and paying and debting and being part of the pointless, subjective, materialistic banality that is modern life, uncouple from it, disconnect from it. Time to explore, explore the world, explore our lives on our terms. And finally, properly living life. This is a conclusion. You see, we're no longer talking. We started with physical fitness in our roadmap, but now we're looking at the caliber of our lives, which contains physical fitness, which contains looking good, which contains knowing ourselves better and better as our own role models and aspiring to be better versions of ourselves, to morph ourselves from what we were and what society thinks we are supposed to be for what we really can be, what we really should be, what we really need to be to have a life well lived. That's the roadmap of life. Now, to conclude, mental focus and clarity, clarity of vision, using your map to make the view clear, to help clarify that view, is of objective, leads to self-vision. Self-vision isn't just something that's sort of nice. Self-vision is tangible, concrete, viable and very achievable through a series of simple mechanisms and objectives. To look at ourselves, not just to be role models for ourselves, but as we go down the journey over time, to redefine and recalibrate what role models really mean so that we can achieve more in the future than we even saw in ourselves yesterday. The self-vision, that is, it's what's called enlightenment, self-enlightenment. It's called walking in the light. It's called being a Jedi. I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. And the more of us that do it, the more role models and the more positive the world around us. Because we are there to mould it in our attitude. Thank you for watching.